First Minister, you're a party that supports Scottish independence. You are talking about cooperation with MPs in the north of England and in Wales. Not content with breaking Scotland out of the UK, are you now pencilling political fault lines elsewhere around the UK? And second of all, can I ask you a reaction to what Boris Johnson has had to say this morning? That giving, giving the SNP power in a Westminster government would be like putting King Herod in charge of a baby farm. Okay. I did say you might not like some of the questions, and that is not uh, the fault of, of Mr Matthews from Sky. Um, can I say, in, in response to, to that, first of all, I haven't heard the comments of Boris Johnson directly this morning, so um, it's perhaps uh, not entirely fair of me to comment on them. But if he did say that, then that's an entirely offensive comment, and I think it will be treated as such, not just by people in Scotland, but people across the UK, who in my experience uh, of ordinary people, the length and breadth of the UK, do not see Scotland uh, in that way at all, and do not even see the SNP in that way at all. In terms of the first part... In terms of the first part of your question, the, the short answer is no. I'm not seeking in this election to create division with or between anybody. I make no secret uh, of the fact that I want Scotland to be an independent country, but I'm a Democrat. Scotland did not vote to be independent last year, and if Scotland is ever to become independent, then a majority of people in Scotland need to vote for that in a referendum. Right now, we remain part of the UK. We remain part of the Westminster system. And therefore, my interest is in seeking to build alliances across the UK for better politics and for better policies, because that will help people in Scotland. And as a politician, I have spent my entire political career arguing for what I consider to be in the best interests of Scotland. People will not always agree that what I argue for is in the best interests of Scotland, but that is entirely my motivation. So in this election, I am offering to people elsewhere in the UK a genuine hand of friendship. I'm not trying to hide my political beliefs as far as independence is concerned, but I am saying very clearly we can work together to get the change that people in Scotland want and, in my experience, many, many people across the rest of these islands want as well. I accept the responsibility to be the one to persuade people in other parts of the UK that my entreaties in that regard are genuine, and I take that responsibility seriously. It matters to Scotland to get better policies at Westminster, and if we can use our voice to do that, we benefit people not just in Scotland, but everywhere across these islands as well.